The next step for our brick wall is we have all these horizontal and vertical lines, but this does not look like a brick wall because brick walls have staggered lines. So every time you see a line here, the next row, the line should be in the middle. So if you want, during that time, that we're just kind of waiting around, if you want, you can choose to draw the lines in. So for this first row I have bricks, I'm gonna keep it just the way it is, but the next row, I'm gonna just draw a light line in the middle of each section so I know where to put my tape when I'm ready to do so. So that is every other line. This one I'm gonna keep, this one I'm gonna mark, this one I'm gonna keep, this one I'm gonna mark. Keep, mark, keep, mark, keep, mark, and so on. So I'm gonna quickly do that. And get these little sneaky guys. Okay, but I'm teaching you about exacto safety. So for this, we are going to be using an exacto knife. This comes in a very secure container, so you have to pop it open. And since this is a very sharp blade, it has protection right here. What we're gonna do is carefully take that off and set that to the side. I like to hold, put it like this on my desk spot so that it doesn't roll away. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your X-Acto blade and where the intersection of each brick is, I'm going to make a small slice because the vertical tape, some sections, are going to slide over to this spot so that we can make that staggered brick look. So, when we're using X-Acto knives, you are always moving the blade away from your hand and body so that you accidentally don't cut yourself. It is a very, very sharp tip, so make sure you're holding it properly, like a pencil, and your hand is far away from where you're working. Like I said, these are very sharp tools, so if you do not feel comfortable, please come up to me and I will help you. All right, to get started, we are gonna take the X-Acto knife and we are gonna make a small slice. Remember, these are sharp, so it could possibly go through your paper as well. So make a slice, pressing lightly, and if you need to go back, you can press again. I'm just gonna do this real quick. Okay, 
I have cut every single spot that intersects and I made sure that I cut the entire piece of tape in this direction. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take my blade and the cover and carefully cap it. If these are still being used, please place them inside the tube with the red cap on and put them to the side.